Okay, so I've had this bee hotel in my garden for nearly three years and this is the first time anything's ever tried to use it and it's just been buzzing for the last couple of weeks with masons. Oh, there we go. And it's, I wish I had a better camera doing this with my phone um, because I can actually see exactly what they're doing when they go and I'm going to see if I can do it. There we go. Zoom in as far as I can. You see they've been bringing the mud in to block off the nests. Not quite sure why some of them keep going into other bees' nests, but oh. so what they do is they, they go in, they um they bring in some pollen, pollen and nectar, it's kind of it's called bee bread, and they deposit a lump of that and then they lay at the far end of the tube and then they lay an egg and then they block that cell off with mud. Um, you need to have moist soil somewhere near a bee hotel. Um, and they, they keep doing that until they come to the end. And then you can see, I go close, you can see the ones that are almost full. don't know how close this will go without losing focus. Oh, it's not bad. I don't want to get in their way. They're amazing. And this is... Um, Oh, it's late April, I'm not quite sure what the date is, but this is when you'd expect them, the Red Masons, Osmia Rufa, to be doing this. And I'm just going to pan around because the other thing I've got, which is very, very good for Masons, is I've got a little apple tree over there. Um, they're very, very good pollinators, the Masons. They can, they can do the job, one Mason bee can do the job of... 120 honeybees, so really valuable as pollinators, pollinators for our apple orchards, that is. They're just so cool. I want to see if I can show you what they're doing, see if I can actually get inside, I don't know if you can see. Um, that one in there, oh you can see, it's coming out backwards. And they don't sting. I can get this close because they, 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 don't, um, they don't store honey, these solitary bees. So they've got no need. Nature hasn't given them a sting. They're very safe for children. Huh? I'm not quite sure what's going on with which bee uses which nest. Anyway, I'm going to switch off now because I don't think... Um, I don't think it's good having a mobile phone near here. I don't think it's good for the bees.